Well, hey, what did you just find? A subpar racing game on the Sega Dreamcast? Good for you. That's like finding a cheeseburger in a stack of cheeseburgers. Mm, why do I always record these right before lunch? This is Suzuki All-Stair Extreme Racing for the Sega Dreamcast from 1999. And the good news is, it's actually better than it looks. But it's not as good as it could have been, not, not even close. Sadly, this game suffers from awkward controls and a sloppy structure. But if you can get past that, it's actually an enjoyable arcade-style racing game. The visual style of the game and the packaging makes it look a bit cheesy, but for an arcade-style motorcycle racing game, it is surprisingly fun, except the controls are very touchy. You lean left or right and turn using the analog stick on the Sega Dreamcast controller, which is touchy and awkward, and that's not the game's fault, that's just the Dreamcast controller's fault. And it took me a few races to realize you can change your bike settings, which dramatically increase your performance. So if you do pick this up, don't race with the default settings. Make that bike as fast as possible, because you can't steer anyway. And braking is completely useless. So once you get the hang of the controls, to be honest, you can enjoy Suzuki All-Stair Extreme Racing. It still looks a bit cheesy, but this is worlds better than that horrible Ducati game on the Dreamcast. Which is why this one costs $5, and Ducati Racing is, um, well, people will pay you to take that game away from them. I don't remember playing this one back in the day, but if you go back in time to 1999, this would have been an amazing looking game, and it's very smooth compared to most other driving games at that time. It's no Sega Rally 2, but it's, it's still pretty good for the era. And the crashes are great, and I love the ragdoll physics when your guy is being smashed off of cactuses and buildings. You've got a little turbo boost thing that fills up as you're driving and basically makes you go faster but out of control. But let's look at the structure of the game. To progress through Suzuki All-Stair Extreme Racing, you basically have to get first in everything. Which is kind of annoying because that means you have to race a perfect race each time any mistake during a series will lose the series. And the controls are not good enough to drive with that kind of precision. But it's by no means unplayable. Once you get through a series, you then unlock the next series and new tracks and new bikes and continue playing. But you have to memorize the tracks because you've really got to turn before each of the turns. This has up to four player local co-op racing, which is kind of cool. And that was also not all that common back in 1999. And the track design and course design in the game is not half bad. It's a lot better than, than you might expect going into it. So you've got five bucks burning a hole in your pocket and you're looking for a cheesy yet playable racing game. You could probably do better than Suzuki All-Stair Extreme Racing, but you could definitely do a lot worse. So I'll leave you with a silly montage of crashes.